What is up everybody, it's Larry back with you and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different than what I usually do on the channel. Uh, it's going to be a how-to and what I'm going to show you how to do is change your microphone with a 3.5 millimeter lead into an XLR lead and then making that newly changed XLR microphone into a full-fledged boom microphone. And how we're gonna accomplish that is we're not gonna be doing any cutting or wire splicing or soldering. We're gonna be using uh, items that are relatively inexpensive off of Amazon. There'll be links for everything that I'm using down in the description below. So let's not wait any longer and get into this. All right, so let's start off with, here is the adapter. Now this is for the end of the boom to go to our microphone. And then we have a three and a half millimeter to XLR adapter, which is directly from Rode. Link will be down below. Uh, links for everything will be down below. Uh, and then we also have the 3.5 millimeter extension from Rode also. Uh, and this is for the Video Mic Pro, which is the microphone we will be using to make this conversion and to make it into a boom microphone. So this microphone is a very good microphone, good audio quality, but it's pretty much set up to be run and gun and sit in your hot shoe and just has a short extension to add. So we're gonna take care of that. Then also I have a cheap boom mic stand that I got from Amazon. And now we'll put our adapter on the end, which makes these 5 8 thread into 3 8 thread to go onto the bottom of the Rode Pro microphone. And then now you want to make sure that you adjust your microphone first and then use that locking nut at the bottom so you get your proper position. Now we'll screw on the Rode microphone here. I tuck away the uh, cord just so it doesn't keep getting wrapped up and wrapped around the boom mic or the threads. Now I got the position that I want. I want it aiming down. So I'm going to make sure that that's tight, that the adapter's tight into the hot shoe, and then I'll bring the jam nut up and lock that down. Now here I'm going to wrap the excess 3.5 millimeter cord that comes out of the mic into the extension uh, and then wrap that around the boom microphone uh, stand and then bring it down uh, once you get it to a position where you want it. Usually you want it all the way back to where it starts going down to the floor again. Here you can see just a simple wrap around. You can also use zip ties if you want. I like to do something that's not as permanent. You can also get uh, wire clips that'll pop right onto the side of this stand. But again, I just did the wrap to show everything. Now here, we'll just take our 3.5 millimeter, snap it into the road adapter that makes it now an XLR. And I mean, it's really that simple. So now you can take this XLR and plug it into something like the Zoom H5, which I have here. So if you're doing something more uh, mobile, you can use this. Or if you're more stationary like I am, then uh, for most of my videos, then you can use something like the Forte. Now, if you have something where you want to go XLR to 3.5, there's also a cable for that. So don't think that this is a one-way switch. You can also switch the other way. So that's about it. As you guys can see, here's the finished product. And that's, I just used things that I already had. I, I had the Rode mic. I had the extension. The only thing that I had to purchase for this little video was the 3.5 to XLR adapter. I did not have that. So that's about it. If you guys want to know what the audio quality is like, I've recorded this whole voiceover and the first clip uh, before the intro all with this setup. So if you enjoyed this video and you like this type of content, give me the thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.